Soon enough, the two engines arrived at the woods. Alright, Timothy, now I need you to do is go in there and get fixed up. Thomas! Oh no. Out stood the fat controller. What have you been doing all these days? First, I hear that you're not working in your branch line. And second, hearing noise of a two tank engines rolling down the line. And third, hearing explosion near your yards. What on earth were you doing, Thomas? Well, um, said Thomas shamefully. I. Sir, it is really all my fault. Then, yeah, sort of, I recognized that voice. Wait a second. Timothy? You're back. I thought you were dead. Well, yes, sir, I was dead until Storm saved me. Well, sir, to make the story short, Timothy has been roaming around the railway, scaring other engines, causing him to derail or causing him to be late. That's why I had to save him by using explosions. That was back then. I'm sorry, sir. You can punish me then take up some things. From my branch line. I don't know what you meant, Thomas, but I am going to punish you from those things, but this time I'll let you slide for this one, but I'm still going to give you the punishments. Thomas, as your punishment, I'm taking out your branch line and start working you at the big station. Okay, sir. As for you, Timothy, I need you to be on trial. I still don't trust you. I heard what you did, and I still don't trust you. It's okay, sir. I understand. Now, bring Timothy into the works and get fixed up. Oh, now I have to ask people to mend those rails. And soon, Thomas pushed Timothy into the works. It took several days to fix Timothy. He was fully restored again. Well, Timothy, how are you feeling? Well, Thomas, I feel alright. And I received some new E2 features. Oh, that's good, said Thomas. Come on, let's bring it outside. The engines are waiting for you. Oh, they are. I want to see their faces.